Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a uh, great day. I got a real special video I'm going to make for you guys today. It's uh, something I've been waiting for for a good long while. It's going to be the Boker Pelican. No, I'm just kidding. But this is my dedicated unboxing knife, which I will be using to unbox the Max Ace Pelican. Which I can say I've been waiting for for a good four or five months now since I first saw the uh, the prototype. Ooh, there's some extra goodies in here. Yeah, I saw, first saw Max Ace did the prototype. It was maybe four or five months ago. Maybe four or five months ago, that's all she wrote. But I've been super, super excited for this. It was one of those ballys that just uh, checked all the boxes for me. Ooh, just threw in a hat. I'm gonna have to clean it a little bit, but that was cool. It was $500 even on the nose, shipped from China. Free FedEx shipping. It uh, got here in like shit four days. I was I was surprised. All right. So what we got here. Shit from the box. All right. So it looks like we got a nice wooden box, Kydex sheath, and here is the trainer blade. Now before. I even opened the box. I'm going to comment on this trainer blade because you'll you'll hear so many people talk about about squids or rhapsodies and and how they have a ring to them, but they put a fucking tuning fork in the middle of the trainer blade. It's not going to do it in my hand cuz it's not solid enough, but I I'll bet a good bit a good bit that that rings pretty well. All right, so let's uh Let's do the honors here. I'm doing this as a one take, by the way, so uh, forgive me on any pronunciation mistakes, any fuck ups I make. Oh man. Holy cow. I went for the, uh, I went for the stone washed handle, is what I went for. They come in, I think, five or six different handle color options you can do. They have a Bead blasted titanium, which is like a lighter, lighter gray finish. They have a titanium nitride coated handles, I believe. Bronze anno, blue anno, purple anno, and then this, this stone washed one. Now, from what I was told, the stone washed one is the, has the least amount that were made. Were 30 pieces. I think there were 300 total, they said, but they're doing a few of them that had Damascus inlays or Timascus inlays, Mokutai, what, 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 whichever one it was, and then like basket weave Damascus blades, but I'm sure those are only going to be a few individuals that were like one-offs that are done that way and aren't going to be factored into the the overarching production numbers. And now one thing is... I know when they were making these, they had a couple issues with the spring latches. The springs were too long, and when you guys get yours, that'll be nice and taut. But as far as I know, I'm the first person in America who's getting one of these, and I told I told him I'm pulling the latch off anyway, so if I can buy it now and you guys don't mind shipping it with a fucky latch spring, that's good by, good by me. So they were cool enough and sent it out to me with a fucky latch spring. But if you guys order them on the, like the, the full batches that are coming to the U S are not going to have that issue. So don't worry about that. If you, uh, if you like latches on your ballys, but I do not. And what I'm going to do here is before I even open this, before I even open this bally, I'm going to pull this latch off just because fuck latches. I mean, Nah, not fuck latches. To each his own. Everybody has their own individual tastes and preferences, but I know that for my liking, for my flipping, latchless is the only way to go. Just this, the stealth, the lack of clankiness, the lack of the noise. Those little, uh, little washers for the latch pin to ride on. Yeah, just overall, I like, uh, latchless is it's not even a question 
and I have a really nice hat and leather sheath so typically any ballys that get carried that don't have clips or latches will will just end up in a just end up in my sheath or should I even just throw them in my fucking pocket pivot side up and they usually do just fine in my in my pocket that way so let's open this bad boy up and see how we're doing I'm not gonna do any flipping really today this is just gonna be an unboxing video done as a one take and then after I have the bally for a couple days at least a couple days maybe a week I'll throw up a uh, you know an extended first impression slash flipping slash short review video but carbon fiber inlays carbon fiber inlays in the blade M390 steel I gotta say I can't feel any gaps whatsoever I go with my fingernail completely smooth check the other side that's one thing I was um, was a little worried about when I saw this was the gaps between the pockets and the inlays being a little fucky but <clears throat> everything looks pretty fucking good now what really piqued my interest about this bally was its channel handles and it runs on bearings now I know a lot of guys hate bearings. A lot of guys will fucking bash on bearings. I love bearings. You're going to have absolutely impeccable tolerances no matter what. Everything's just as smooth as, as bushings. What everybody bitches about, I uh, I don't know. My thing is I think it's, it's to flip a bally that has literally zero handle play whatsoever. You have to be a little bit more like a little looser and a little bit more precise with your movements at the same time it's weird <laughs> like you have to be really precise because there's no handle play whatsoever but at the same time you have to hold like a looser grip on the on the handles because there's there's no play in the bally whatsoever so you have to make that give with your hands a little bit let's show you guys here Now it's going to need to break in and be tuned a little bit, but once I've got it, uh, once I've got it the way I like it, it'll, I'm sure it'll be perfect. Comes with a full set of extra hardware, extra bearings, extra pivot screws, extra body screws. Not that there's that many body screws, but still. What are those? Fuck, what do we got? Extra tang pins too? I think that's what those are. I'll have to uh, have to crack this open later and check it out. Tried to put together a little uh, little like examination area here for when I did this unboxing one take review. So let's see. We've got. Just a hair under 10 inches. Looks like 10 inches on the nose. And what I'll do here is just for reference, for size comparison, this is an Alt Blade Alpha Beast from the most recent drop. And that looks like maybe, maybe a millimeter longer. Handles are a bit shorter but hardly hard, hardly enough to to make anything more than a negligible di than a negligible difference I'd say So yeah Oh one more thing let me uh let me do this here I meant to for you guys because I'm any weights they have listed I'm sure are going to be with with a latch and spring so let's, uh, now my scale only measures in fractions of an inch, so it's, it's not the most accurate. Let's see, four and three quarter ounces, so it could be 4.7, 4.8, whatever it is, it's probably, it's usually rounds to the, to the closest fraction on this scale. 
Let's see what my Alpha Beast takes in at. Five ounces even now. I know that's like 5.1 somewhere around there. So right there, I know that it's rounding to the closest like whole fraction. So guys, that was a quick unboxing and overview of the Max Ace Pelican. They're going to be hitting U.S. retailers in full supply maybe, I want to say, end of the month. I know there's a guy I see on Instagram and on Reddit who buys wholesale from China from Max Ace and then sells and redistributes to guys in America. So this way you can like circumvent that crazy shipping wait time. Although mine got here in four days, I will say that. Four days from shipment notification to my front door from the other side of the planet. Now I'm in, I'm in Florida, Southeast US. So that's a, that's pretty good time. I'd say I've had knives I bought from places inside the United States that didn't get here that quick. If you guys wanted to grab one of these, I say go for it. From what I see so far, it's just about perfect. Now, once I, uh, once I'm off camera and I get this thing tuned up the way I like it, a little later on today, I'll throw up like a quick minute video, just some uh, some quick flips so you guys can see it in action. But I wanted to do this unboxing live one take style so you guys could see it in the real time, same that I'm seeing it. I will say that Max Ace as, as a company, a lot of guys will will bash on Max Ace because they're, they're Chinese knife makers and we know that 99.999% of the clones come from China. So it's real easy to mothball these guys in with, with those shithead cloners. But from what I see, Max says everything they do is an original design. They, they strive to bring quality and innovation to our, our community as far as I can tell. And if you're going to bash on them just because they're from fucking China, then that's, that's horseshit if you ask me. Because I've owned, you know... Every, Every Bally they've had now, I've flipped or owned, aside from the Covenant. I only ever handled that one briefly, but it was fucking good, man. And first impressions of this are, are no less, if not better. I mean, this is the first, if not... I mean, hold aside, I'm sure there's some, like, high, high-end custom one-off pieces that are channel and bearings, but this is a production piece, a mid, uh, mid-tech production, whatever the fuck you want to say, with channel and bearings. Whether you like or don't like bearings, I personally like bearings, and you can't not like channel ballast songs, so this is a win-win in my book. Max Ace, there are a bunch of cool guys. A um, bunch of times I've talked to Midnight Cat Studio and Max Ace Knives, Max Ace Vicky or whatever her tag is on Instagram, and Chanadan on Instagram, who are, uh, I guess those are all the guys who make up Max Ace Knives, but anytime I message them or talk to them or have a question, they always answer me, they're quick, they're responsive, they're polite and courteous, and listen, I mean, for me at least, that goes a, uh, that goes a long way in the knife community, because we all know what we're spending on these fucking things, you know, four or five, six hundred dollars a piece, and, and if, if that's the money I'm laying out, nothing against it, but I want, you know, like, I just want a little bit of security that comes with that. Don't just shortchange me and here, here it is, that's it, done. You know, every time I've had a question for them, they're always nice and polite and answer me in a good bit of time. So, you know, don't make, don't just leave me in the inbox for the next fucking week and a half and then hit me with a one word answer when they finally do respond. They're, uh, they're pretty on point with things as far as I can tell. So, all right, guys. Max Ace Pelican. I'm sure you guys will be uh, will be able to get your hands on them pretty soon. I kind of pestered and bugged them a little bit the whole time they were uh, developing and prototyping this, and then they were cool enough to let me buy buy one as soon as they were ready, even though the 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 spring for the spring latch was a little fucked up. But that is totally fine by me. It'll never see a single bit of use from me anyway. So. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like it, drop a like. Any comments, questions, leave them down below. I'm, uh, I'm more than happy to, you know, talk to you guys, hear what you have to say. So, 
Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching, guys.